All right, folks, we got Bitcoin pumping today, as well as some altcoins ahead of that big Fed meeting. Uh, I believe that meeting is actually in like an hour or two, where most people are predicting right now that the Fed is probably going to increase uh, interest rates by 0.25. There's a small percentage of people that are expecting no interest rate hike whatsoever. Uh, if that happened, you would probably see Bitcoin hit about $35,000. Um, it would be a mega, mega pump, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's highly unlikely, maybe 5 or 10% shot of that happening. But most people are predicting the 0 0.25, which it does seem to be priced in. So I actually think if we get 0 0.25, we could see a $30,000 Bitcoin. And you're starting to see some of these altcoins pumping a little bit as we have the last day or so. Uh, XRP is still hanging out like 44 cents. Cardano up to 38 cents. So Cardano is still on a pump. Um, really looks like it wants to get up to that uh, 40 cents mark. Um, Gareth Soloway talking a little bit about XRP. You know, I don't talk a lot about XRP on this channel. I'm not a big fan of XRP, but as far as a trade, you can't deny every so often it does pump. Let's see what Gareth Soloway has to say about XRP. It was pulling back today. Yesterday, it got a nice little breakout. You had this downward sloping channel. You can see here, it was into this. Look at this longer term trend line here. It was right into that lower level right there. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool chart. And Ripple did have an ignition to the upside. It did hit resistance, though. Take a look at all this sideways chop over here. That's going to tell you that there's resistance. Now, let's do a quick educational piece here. Why is this resistance? Why is this area resistance? And the answer is very simple. There were a ton of people, and this is really good education, guys. There were so many investors that were buying in this whip, right? It went up, it went down, it went up, which buyers have to be buying it up. Then it came down, then it went up more, coaxed in more buyers, then it came down, then it chopped sideways, more buyers in the chop. Then it went up again, more buyers came in. So basically what you had was a ton of new money was coming into Ripple here in this sideways chop. Then all of a sudden, the bottom fell out of Ripple, and we went all the way back down. So all of those people that bought over here are now underwater. So what happens? All right, this is Human Psychology 101, and this is great, great stuff. So when price goes back into that level, how many of us have said, oh, my gosh, I was getting crushed on that trade, and now I'm break even. I just want to get out. That's the psychological aspect of why you see resistance at this level, because you have a lot of people that bought in over this period that are in the short term saying, finally, I have my money back. I was down, you know, 20, 30, 40 percent when it was came off of this level. I'm going to exit the trade here. And that's, again, why you have the pullback here and why you had resistance. Now, does that mean that it can't consolidate and make a bull flag and break out? It certainly could. We just don't know that yet. We have to watch for what type of price action we're seeing here. All right, there's Gareth Soloway looking at XRP. I don't think anybody is like a big fan of XRP. Like I've always said, my big reason for not liking XRP, I mean, it's basically a banker's coin. It's centralized. Other than that, it never made its all-time high last bull market, meaning if you were in XRP last bull market, you didn't make any money. I witnessed people. Look, folks, I've been in this market since 2017. I witnessed people make no money in XRP, and if they put money in Cardano, they'd be retired right now. Or they put money in even Bitcoin, they'd be retired. So I do have a bad taste in my mouth with XRP. It's kind of, it's really established itself to be the loser's coin as far as long-term hold. But that doesn't mean next bull market next year, it's not going to go crazy. It really depends on the SEC, but I, I wouldn't mess with it. But hey, I want to talk about it because it's been pumping. So that's XRP news. You know, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I talked about Bit, BitBoy. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Crypto Ram, but he is a well-spoken guy, and he puts things together very, very well. Did my video yesterday on, on BitBoy. He's being sued by, uh, by the people who are suing um, the pumpers of FTX, the FTS shillers. BitBoy is being sued as, a, a, as well as a bunch of other YouTubers. Um, and BitBoy has basically lost his mind now. Like I've always said with BitBoy, the guy is like not somebody you should be taking advice from. He's like a guy who will eventually probably like lose all his money. He kind of reminds me of like those lotto winners who win all their money and then five years later they lost it all. Like the guy is just mentally unstable. And this proves that right here. Um, when you have Rand the Man basically telling you you're crazy, um, you know there's probably a problem. So as you know, BitBoy has been sending threatening letters and harassing letters to um, the people who are suing or, or the lawyers who are involved 
in the class action suit against him, and he's completely gone crazy. So here's um, here's Crypto Rand talking about it. Bitboy, because he keeps doing it. I don't know if you see now, but there's this $1 billion lawsuit against him and all the other guys that, are, that were promoting FTX. So now what does Bitboy go and do? He does it again. So the lawyers behind the FTX class action say that they are being harassed by Bitcoin, by BitBoy. He says, so this is a letter from Ben. It says, Adam, hey, I'm not going to say the word because then YouTube just bans my shows. Guess you do know who I am, bitch. You are such an unbelievably dumb mother and you are leading a lawsuit against me when I never promote, even promoted FTX. Expect a countersuit, bitch. Hey, Stephen, you didn't tell me that your boy is suing me. He's a toxic ambulance chasing cancer. This is, this is, I cannot believe that this is what BitBoy is sending to uh, uh, the, the, a lawyer. I mean, any lawyer. Like, like, and there's a, here's the court document with all the exhibits. I wanted to show you something. Part of the exhibits is BitBoy actually calling this guy. So I just want to see if I can find the exhibits for him. I just want, oh. want to show you the, the number of calls. Look at the number of calls Jesus. of BitBoy calling this lawyer, or potentially, allegedly, Bitcoin, uh, uh, BitBoy calling this lawyer. Just look at the... the this the harass call is calling this lawyer. Then, Unbelievable. Look at the messages that are being sent. Look at the... the you're fucked. Filing frivolous lawsuits. Prepare for hell. You were humiliated today. LOL. Um, you're choosing the war with an anonymous community while you, you yourself are not. Only a couple of Bitcoins get you and your family shot. Be careful. These people are dangerous. You have provoked them. I mean, you, you understand what's going on here. This guy has absolutely lost his mind. Um, you also get BitBoy on Twitter saying, Alan Moskowitz and his law team have filed a document saying that I'm threatening them. Laugh my ass off. Um, it's not a threat. It's a promise, but I'm coming for your license. They're relentlessly. You made a big mistake and you'll pay for it. Jesus. He says, spoke with a few lawyers today after I go after Adam Moskowitz and make him pay. I'm going to have his license taken away. Then I'm going to frame it and hang it above my desk. If you guys only understood how much leverage I have right now. Ironically, I cannot be liquidated. I mean, crazy. I'm contacting the state of Florida today about going after Adam Moskowitz's license to practice law. Not only is he shorter than the average American male, he's also a really bad lawyer. I mean, are, are, you, are you seeing this shit? <laughs> Um, he has a better story. A small penis lawyer <laughs> who looks like a, like a thumb is suing me for promoting FTX when I literally never promoted FTX. Never talked to them once, never received a dime, never had an account, never had a ref link. I don't think that's how you spell the ref link, but I think that, that's, 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 I okay, think. He also went on to, I think it's Google or SiteJab or one of those, and he said, Adam Moskowitz is the worst scum of a lawyer known to man. In fact, his license will probably be taken away soon because he is an established in habit of ignoring due diligence in his lawsuits. I think he's gone. I mean, I think Bitcoin has actually lost his mind. Hi, my name is Adam Moskowitz. I'm an ambulance changing douchebag who can't even do my own due diligence on crypto lawsuits. I have zero integrity and super small penis, which I actually tried to sue my own mother for. But just like my other cases, I lost that one too. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think that BitBoy has lost his mind. Anyway, so that's the BitBoy news. And as we've been saying on this channel for over a year, you know, we have no ill will against BitBoy other than he was promoting scams, but whatever. But the guy is not mentally right. So if you're taking any advice from BitBoy or um, you think he's like a good guy to like be like a your role model, um, I mean, I don't know how you can think that after seeing the way he behaves. I played the video yesterday of him gets an SEC letter because he's been shilling scams for years and he basically just taunts Gary Ginsler, making a video taunting Gary Ginsler so, and laughing. So there's something wrong with the guy. I personally think it's going to end poorly for him. I've been saying that for the last year. Um, the guy has a lot of demons and, um, you know, like I said, I have no ill will against him. He's, he's very entertaining. You can't deny that. But clearly he is having a mental breakdown. And like I said yesterday, this lawsuit I get with FTX, I actually don't think they really have a lot of grounds to go after Bit Bit BitBoy. Now, BitBoy did pr uh, promote the FTX token, but you know we all pr we all talk about. He didn't get not only got paid to promote it, but he talked about it. But BitBoy wasn't like a big shiller of FTX exchange like some of these other YouTubers were. So I really think if BitBoy just played it cool and said, "Hey, look, you know, apparently he has a BitBoy has a lawyer." 
there's no evidence really to show that BitBoy was shilling FTX exchange. So if he just played it cool, this thing would go away. But now, like, acting like a complete crazy man, now he's probably going to have to worry about harassment charges and all sorts of things. I mean, you're attacking high-powered lawyers who know what they're doing. And um, BitBoy does not know what he's doing. So I don't know. It's crazy. It's fun to watch, but it's also, like, you laugh about it, but you're also, like, you're watching somebody just completely have a mental breakdown, which is sad. So, um, but hey, we got to cover it. It's BitBoy news and it's everybody's talking about it right now. So we'll see what comes out of it. But dude, BitBoy, my advice, just just shut the fuck up, you know, and go away and tell your, get, and if they have no evidence against you, then you're, you're, you're good to go. Um, you know, you're a high profile guy, so you can't be shocked when people try to sue you. And you've sued plenty of people, BitBoy. BitBoy sued like five people over the last year. So now he's kind of getting a taste of his own medicine in a way. But you're, you're watching a mentally ill person just self-destruct, which, you know, it's – there's humor in it because it's BitBoy, but it's also sad. All right, that's the BitBoy news. Uh, what else did I see today? There wasn't really too much else going on. Everybody's just talking about that um, – the, uh, the Fed meeting – which we should know in about an hour. I did see this. There's a Cardano-based uh, Snoop Dogg um, NFT. NFT by Clay goes live. So, you know, Cardano does ha- is, uh, is in the NFT market, and they got Snoop Dogg. Uh, rap legend Snoop Dogg and Cardano-based NFT project Clay Nation have unveiled a new NFT collection called Snoop Dogg Gin and Juice. You know, I'm actually, the funny thing is, I'm not a big rap person, at all. But I'll tell you what I do like. I like that like 90s rap, like Snoop Dogg rap. Um, I also like that guy, um, Ice T or Ice Cube. The guy who has that song today was a good day. You know, I like 90s. 90s rap was more like, yeah, just like chilling out, like smoking, like drinking, like getting laid, like getting girls um, and trying to like avoid like getting shot. But now rap is just basically just like raping women and just like, you know, shooting up liquor stores and robbing people. It's not the same rap as it used to be. But Snoop Dogg was in, was in that crowd of like 90s rap um, where it was just like you just put it on and you just chill out and you just smoke and like anybody can listen to it. I mean, my mom could listen to Snoop Dogg, but the rap, the rap going on right now is absolutely like heinous. It's like heinous. Anyway, so good news for Cardano. There's always new stuff coming out for Cardano. So you got the Snoop Gin and Juice collection. And I do think when we go back into that bull market, you're going to see Cardano absolutely take off. And Cardano, even today, is one of the big pumpers, other than Bitcoin. I don't know Bitcoin's like the big pumper, but XRP's taking a little bit of a pullback and Cardano's back up to almost 40 cents. So why is Cardano pumping today? I don't know. But like I said a couple of days ago, don't take your eye off the altcoins. All right, folks, that's it. We'll see what happens with this meeting. Everybody's predict- predicting the 0.25. If I'll tell you right now, if, if there's a 5% chance the Fed will come out and do no interest rates, if that happens, I will, I will dump everything I got in my checking account right now into Bitcoin because it will go up to like $40,000. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to get the 0.25. I think we're going to see a little bit of volatility, and I think you're going to see Bitcoin hit uh, 30000 Oh, there's one other thing I want to cover. Let me see if I have that article pointed out. A uh, Bitcoin 30,000 bet greed FOMC as analyst warns over long liquidations. Bitcoin may celebrate no matter what the Fed decision on interest rates, but one analyst worries about the extent of longs that would be liquidated below 20,000. <clears> Bitcoin may take out shorts to crack 30,000 during the day's key United States um, policy update, analyst says, as bets pile up over BTC's price or how BTC's price will react to the Federal Reserve decision on interest rates. Trader plans $30,000 profit taking. So I think there is going to be a lot of people taking profits at $30,000. If Bitcoin hits $30,000, I think we're going to see what happened when Bitcoin hit $25,000. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we hit $30,000 and we see a crash down to twenty six. dollars $27,000, just like that. Like we hit 30,000, we go up to like 30,100, 30,200. There's going to be so many people taking profits, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion at that price. Don't be surprised to see the dump of like this, the month, the dump of the month. Um, and if we do go back down to 26, 27, I'll probably be buying some more Bitcoin. But 
there's no question a lot of people are going to be looking uh, to take profits at $30,000. So don't think we're just going to go up to $30,000 and go up to like $50,000. $30,000 is going to be strong resistance. There are going to be people taking profits there. Um, if we get there, it may, you know, if you're into Bitcoin and you got in at $20,000 and you're kind of a trader, $30,000 would absolutely be the place to take some serious profits and maybe buy back in at $26,000. I'm not much of a trader, but, you know, it would be tempting because if we don't get a dump after $30,000, I'll, I'll be like completely shocked. But we might not. This is crypto. Anything can happen. All right, folks. Uh, la, ba, 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 ba. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.